I hate getting slime. How much ectoplasm can one ghost produce? Oh, disgusting. But not entirely without scientific interest. Oh, slimed again. Oh, slimed. Oh, I'm ectoplasmically saturated. Oh, disgusting. But not entirely without scientific interest. Okay, okay. I think that's enough fun right there. Anyway, hey everyone, Sun Tenaga here, bringing you back another episode of Ghostbusters the Game. In the last episode, we fought some ghosts, found the great lady again who kept shushing us. This time we're gonna skip her to shush shush. And in today's episode, we're gonna do just that. Follow me, people, to adventure. This is where the Collector killed the Librarian. I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Let's see, should I or should I not take the book? Or two, we could just read alongside. Really? It's just reuse animation? Yep. I'm taking the book then. I just now realized that's a skeleton right there. Well, better than I expected. It makes perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over. That's not intimidating whatsoever. So, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, game? Game? Um, don't tell me it crashed, or get me soft locked. Now to disrespect her. Ha 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 ha! Take that, you skeleton. A oh, really game? Game? <laughs> Did it really soft lock? Oh my God! It did. Oh wait, this is water? I thought this was black slime the whole time. But still, game. Game. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it did it. She just crossed right there. Oh no. Uh oh. And she's cursed. I'm gonna put that right there. So now, guess what? She's now... We got an owl. 
we got to now deal with the librarian. But not just that, she is protected by those books, and guess what? You had to slime those f floating books. Get rid of the books, and you be able to fight back. Well, dealing with flying, with attacking books. Great. And Peter's down. Great. I'll go ahead and get back up. Come here. I just slide. Look at these. Can I scan these? Nope. Uh, I will be highly honest, this is the one thing I don't like about this boss fight in particular, is that... Wait, can I just use... Okay, so that means I don't know for... Ow. Peter. Why, thank you, Peter. Get okay, Egon back up. Let's see, can I actually just use the... Oh, so you don't need to use the... Slime at all. What the heck was I doing? Doing back during the first level. I mean, during my first time playing. Where I could have just done that the whole time. I feel like a bloody idiot. That After that, the librarian is now defenseless. And you can deal beat the Lemmy heck out for now. Uh, also trying to figure out where she is. Just do that so I can get a little chip damage. Yeah, I could probably imagine speedrunners doing that. Just using the stasis stasis string to slow her down. Owie. Just to get into chip damage. In the round. Ouchies. That's good. Throw out the trap. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? The strength is failing. Me. Bam. about since college. It's all in the Monarchia Demonium. Fantastic. Ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we could meet an old friend of hers. Well, if we're going... Not much choice, is there? It's the only way out. You, take the lead. Don't worry, we do this all the time. First off, I like it how Eov was saying, was saying, not just saying, oh hey, you touched a thing. But he was looking in a different direction where I'm guessing he's supposed to be in, on this side, but yet I was over here and he was looking over there. Uh, what can you do? Okay, before doing anything. Okay, you got 27,000. So let's do some cooldown upgrades. And don't worry, we will eventually get into the slime tether. Oh, that's... Yeah, sure, I'll purchase this expensive one. Force increase. Range of damage increase. Oh, it actually kind of make It kind of makes the thing bigger. So it's like this. Here's the norm... How it is when you first get it. Then upgrading it. Now you're producing much more slime. Wow. It covers up the whole body. 
Like, I not. Oh, Now I'm disappointed. Oh. That's something I did not know about. Let me. I'm just trying something real quick. Oh, I did not, that's something the game does not tell you at all. Dimensional portal, you can wait. If you actually wait for a bit, the thing actually reduces. I did not know about that. Anyway, let me do one last little purchase. User damage reduction. Oh, so that means I already bought that. Okay, so I guess I'll just save my money then. Anyway, let's continue. infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. Yes, well, this looks like the Gozerian configuration. Watch out, Lux. Okay, before I continue, I'm going to mention this now. Um, so, if any... So, if we were, like, in a cutscene or in a game... Kind of, like, talking cutscene, kind of like what they're doing now... If you hear like this really loud bump, like this tiny little loud one like this, that just lets, um, that kind of helps future me when editing the video. That gives him the, the idea of, oh, hey, I need to mute. Now am I muting myself? He's telling me, past me is telling me, oh, hey, I need to cut that bit. So I'm just giving you a little heads up. When you hear the little bump, that's kind of like the one thing right there. The other reason is... Ugh. Ugh, excuse me. The other reason is... It's just for me to... When we're in a talk that cut... When we're in a cut scene. Kind of like how... On the... Um... On my Blue Ye Yeti mic... There's a... Though that one's a bit more of a louder click sound than a bump sound. Anyway, let's continue. A door covered in black slime. What should we ever do? Come on, let's go. Ah, oh, boy. All right, keep your head down and keep hitting these portals. One of them has got to lead out. Uh, the scientific method, right? Okay, this is a a little game that I like to try to do. Dang it. Oh boy, it's another eek. It's another section of being by yourself. Ah, how much I love that. By myself, dealing with a giant book golem without any teammates. So if I go down, I had to redo this fight again. Whoop. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. You're too slow. You know what? I think I... No, 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 that's... Not now, it's way too late. Um, you don't know what I mean. I'm... I'm thinking about getting a... A, um... Um, a stream deck. Kind of like a... Thing that... Review Tech USA uses, like... Where it does that... Try to relax your anus. Your shoulders. Like... St like, stuff like that. I'm thinking about those next year, after I get my second monitor. 
Boy, this game really loves to play that game with me. Well, at least I can damage him from over here. Oh no, what would I ever do? Whoop! Oh, he got me. On our head, I'm dead. I'll just go around him and shoot him in the butt. The buttocks. Yeah, but I bet that he would have just killed me right there. Dodge. Dodge! Again, if he hits me. Okay, so it looks like I might take, be able to take one more hit. Whoop! Man, even though he's such a big guy and I have such limited space, I'm still able to hit him. I mean, he still. He came and hit me. Wow. I was just a few feet in front of, in front of him from getting hit. Whoop! Good, don't have to deal with him anymore. Well, <laughs> that was a balance. Looks like a good place for slime tether. Just stretch a slime tether, point and launch the first anchor, then point and shoot the second. The launched slime tether will then contract. The more tethers you attach to a point, the stronger the resulting strike. Since the rectoplasmic charge has a short half-life, tethers will grow brittle over time and then break. You can blast an existing tether with any other equipment type to destroy it. So yes, like he said there, this I I showed this off in the last episode, the slime tether, but there was no real reason for me to, to explain about it until it had its use. But as you kind of see, they kind of start growing dark over time. They are not meant to last forever. They're meant for that. Like, um, if you're in a section of the game that involves doing that... Just has to be a specific one. Okay, pausing this. So, like, you had to... Slime, tether, a specific object, whether it's to turn something or get something to lower down towards you. There's going to be a few sections of that in the in the game later on. But this is trying to give you the idea of, oh, here's how the slime tether works. Here's how the slime... Here's how the slime blower works. Like, you get what I mean. The game's just trying to show you how to use these and how they and how they work. Okay, so another thing about the slime tether, like I mentioned earlier, like um, Peter mentioned, man, I did not ever once bother to look up to see all those animator ghosts. Back to what I was trying to say, um, like Peter said, these slime tethers do not last forever. You can tell that they're about to go out as they grow darker. And no, doing this does not help. I think you can produce up to three. Oh, I guess you can use as much as you want. Hey, it's like I created like a little spider web right there, but with green slime. Let's move on. Oh boy, I sense that we're about to be by ourselves real soon. How did you look at that? Heck, we should be able to put that back in place. No, doesn't matter what you do, that black slime will keep going. That's why I kind of like mentioned earlier. Okay, another thing about the. John, how dare you call me John Hen Henry? And no, I'm not gonna say why my reason for saying that over being called Paul Bunyan. Ray, it occurs to me that these events are interrelated. The Bosarian exhibit, the huge energy pulse, the Sedgwick Hotel, the return of Stay Puffed. 
Yeah. Yes, even this. All pointing back to a single point of origin. Elissa? Elissa. Do you think she's a factor in this? Maybe not intentionally, but almost definitely. Uh, so that's her name, Alyssa. Okay, before we continue, I'll be right back. I gotta go pee! Ah, I feel much better after a good piss. Anyway, I sense we're about to be alone. Of course. And let me guess, there's gonna be mirrors behind me. Of course. I'm just guessing everything right, aren't I? Ah, oh, fudge. I'm gonna really hate this fight. You wanna know why? Um, hello? Oh, there you are. Oh, so I already scanned her. Or, whoa, that's what he looks like? I thought that was a she the whole time. Um, I feel stupid. So this guy has a gimmick. He had to use the mirrors. I think. You have to use the mirrors to guess where he's at. But right now he's in the mirror. The other side of the mirrors. So, <coughs> so maybe what I'm supposed to be doing this whole time is destroying the mirrors. <coughs> Excuse me. Heck, let's see if it let's see if that, that works. Destroy all the mirrors. I'm sure someone in the comments is saying, Santeno guy, don't destroy the mirrors. What are you thinking? Well, I just wanted to test it, that's why. Well, then again, there is a whole lot of mirrors. And now I don't know where the heck that ghost went. Ghosty goes, come out, come out. I got a pro. I got a proton stream with your name written on it. Yep. This is just stupid. Just me destroying mirrors, waiting for the ghost to come out, though he's probably on the other side by now. Just trying to hit the middle section, that way all the mirrors break. But at the same time, this could be a really stupid idea. Let's see how it let's see how well it does. Is this pointless as heck? Yes. Do I care? Maybe. Okay, I think I just literally destroyed every single mirror. Wow. I just wasted some time right there. Just destroying all the mirrors. Just to find out. Ah, I see where you are. Wait, what? Is he stuck? He is stuck. Maybe I should have not have destroyed those mirrors. Ah, there you go, you're free. But now you're about to be captured. Well, 
That was weakly pointless of me, destroying every single mirror. Oh yeah, by the way, after the fight's over, all the mirrors will just disappear. Well, I just wasted y'all's time with that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. Next time on Ghostbusters. We're going to try to find a way how to get the heck out of here. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share, like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a nice day.